युगवतार भगवान श्री सत्य साई बाबा हैज इनकारनेटेड टू रिडीम मैन काइंड एंड रिलीज मैन फ्रॉम द शेकल्स ऑफ इग्नोरेंस एंड बॉन्डेज इन इज बाउंडलेस लव ही लीड्स मैन फ्रॉम वेरियस स्टेजेस ऑफ जॉय टू द स्टेट ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट डिलाइट आनंद बाबा से Take one step towards me and I will take a hundred towards you. What is this first step? The first step is to understand his message and resolve to follow it. His message is the pathway to divine. Jantu naam nar janma durlabham. man's birth is the rarest in this creation we have not to miss this opportunity or saving ourselves having been born as human have we ever given a thought to the fact whether we understand what being with baba means baba insists on transformation rather than merely being in his presence he values remarks more than marks and gives an open invitation to partake of his grace baba says a life without values is like a body without soul this transformation in us cannot come unless we try to know what our real nature is baba also says you are not one but three persons the one that you think you are the one others think you are and the third the one you really are representing three levels of existence namely conscious conscience and consciousness in order to know what we really are the foremost prerequisite is to have faith in god and to trust without reservation that god exists with this let us proceed further to understand how our human system functions the human personality comprises of five domains the physical the intellectual the emotional the psychic and the spiritual the point of perfection in each of these domains is symbolized by a human value the excellence inherent in man manifests as truth righteousness peace love and non-violence as displayed on a stupa in this museum whenever a man is asked as to what he wants the common answer is i want peace or collectively people may say we want peace but what is this peace how does one recognize it what is the form of this peace the tangible expressions of peace in the human system are a rhythmic breath a steady heartbeat and a stable pulse rate now how do we maintain this steadiness and calm this can be done with the help of three prime resources of human system that is the resource of thought the resource of breath and the resource of time the concept of management of thought sound travels fast light travels faster than sound but thoughts travel faster than the light also what is this thought 
Baba says, It is a speck of energy. A string of these thoughts continue. A desire and a combination of these desires constitute the human mind. Baba gives the example of handkerchief, which he often flashes during his discourse. He says, This is a cloth. This cloth is made up of yarn. The yarn is spun out of cotton. Similarly, cotton can be compared to thoughts, yarn to desires, and cloth to the mind. And finally, in his most inimitable way, he explains, If you keep the cotton in check, you will weave a good cloth. And similarly, if you have good thoughts, you will have a healthy mind. Baba also says, the key to a successful life is to master the mind and become a master mind. Well, having understood what is thought, let us consider the process of management of thought. The process is silent sitting or meditation and self-audit or introspection. Baba says, silent sitting is a process by which a man sits silently, stills his mind, and tries to control his outer senses by collecting himself and his thoughts by concentration to use it as a concentrated energy. Secondly, Baba says, self-audit or introspection is a very useful habit that human being must follow at the end of each day by taking stock of one's deeds and actions. This goes a long way in correcting and improving our performance. Through the process of silent sitting and self-audit, if the thoughts are managed, a man is bound to have an improved concentration power, a higher level of confidence and better control over his senses. Management of breath. Breath is important to man. In fact, it is the living God within man. It is common to all. It is a symbol of life. What does peace imply here? Peace implies a rhythmic breath. If the breath is in rhythm, man experiences peace. The breathing process, which is a continuous process, is always enjoyable if it is in rhythm. How does one maintain the rhythm of this breath? Devotional singing, music, and prayers are of immense help for this. Music, singing, and prayers have an outward rhythm which sets the inner workshop also into its rhythm. Prayers are a means of communication with the ultimate and bring peace. And more so, if the entire family engages itself in sitting in prayers, the outcome would be peace alone. This needs to be done every day to keep the system trip, as in a watch that runs well when wound once a day. Management of time. Baba often says, time waste is life waste. Time is a very scarce commodity and the secret of the success of any human being is dependent on two important aspects. Namely, having the right priorities in life and the optimum utilization of time. What is it that really distorts the management of time? Multiple desires distort priorities. The solution lies in avoiding wastage or the misuse of food, money, knowledge and energy. Secondly, one must seek good company, good books. It is in good company and in good books that good thoughts find their home. What is good company? Baba says, Good company is day-to-day -day spiritual exercises, such as meditation and daily prayer, 
devotional singing with members of the family. Regular study of good literature. Participation in community work and service of mankind. Speaking softly and loving everyone. Not to indulge in gossip of others, especially behind their backs. Sealing on desires and utilizing the savings generated for the service of mankind. Baba insists that service to mankind is service to God. He often says, Hands that help are holier than the lips that pray. Social service has the end objective of joy and satisfaction, which in turn helps us to achieve the excellence at human level and helps us to understand our inner nature. By following this advice, we can cultivate human values in our life. Let us then, in all humility, pledge to take this first step to divine. Satya Dhamma Prema Nityamai Yundin 